communicate. Like, we will go, like, even if uh, something has it. Yeah, so even if this is true, we're still going to do this then. Or this is still going to be the case. So give me give me an example. Is somebody... Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, we're talking about even if here. Sorry, let's be clear. Even... Someone help him. Even if... Even if the weather is bad? Yeah. We want to go outside? Good. Even if the weather is bad, see, something's still going to happen, even if this is the case. Even if the weather is bad, come or no come? Come, 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 come. We will still what? Go out. Go outside. Does that make sense? Again, your adverb clause is here of condition. Got to get your comma in, all right? And it had, of course, it's always got to have its own subject verb. And here's your independent clause. By the way, when you use um, adverbs of frequency, like always, still, um, they always, if there's an auxiliary verb with a main verb, stick them in between, okay? If there's just a B verb, stick it in front of the B verb. We will always be here for you. See that? So people, it seems like people never know where to put that thing. Does that make sense? Nope. All right. Good. Nice example. Is that clear? Even if. Somebody give me one more example. Even if. Good. Even if you don't come to the party, I will still go to the party. Good. All right. We also have whether or not. Now, this is very similar to even if. Matter of fact, I think it's the same, right? So I could just say, whether or not the weather is bad, we will still go outside. It's another way to say the same thing, like an even if. Everybody okay? Somebody give me another whether or not. I know it's the same, but it's good to practice. You want to try whether or not? Whether or not I study hard. What's going to happen anyway? I pass the final. Whether or not I study, I will pass the final. I like the confidence. Give me one more. Ooh, whether or not you choose to study, right? Or whether or not you study, you will take the test. All right, good. All right, now listen. Let's jump over to transitions to show condition. Uh, do you guys see the word? Otherwise. Otherwise. Yeah. Could somebody turn this information into an otherwise statement? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the weather uh, is bad, otherwise we will go outside. Good. So the, the weather is bad. Otherwise, we, we would go on a picnic. Yes. Nice. All right. How's my punctuation? Are there any problems? Yeah, any tags? Thank you. Comma Teacher after. Josh has a tag. Tag, comma, after the other ones. It's got to be a comma there. Or what else could I do? Uh, period. period. And capital Y. Yep. Period, and then go with a big O. That's also possible. Everybody cool? <laughs> All right. You know what else you can do? Just, just for fun. You can also stick this over here. It does the same thing. And you put a comma in front of it. So I could say, the weather is bad, period. Uh, we would go on a picnic, comma, otherwise. You can do that. Why are you saying it to the same, uh, all the... You, you know what? That's a great question. The weather is bad right now, isn't it? Otherwise, we... It depends on the conversation. If you're talking to someone right now, yeah. and, and we're looking out the window, oh man, 
the weather is terrible outside. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, I'm sure we would go on a picnic. You see what I'm saying? If it's like right now in the present. But really, the truth is. So this is just a fact, right? And it, it, this is really interesting. The weather's bad. But maybe, uh, maybe you ask me why we didn't go on the picnic this morning, right? And you show up later in the day, um, and I say something like, man, if you look out the window, the weather's terrible. Uh, otherwise, we, we would have gone, man. Settle down, all right? We'll go tomorrow. See what I'm saying? It's all about the time frame. So if you're talking about something you missed in the past because of bad weather, then you can use would. If you're talking about something like right now that you want to do, uh, then you could use will. All right? About something you will do in the future, but you're talking right now. <laughs> Does that make sense? Time and verbs are crazy, aren't they? Just kind of think about what you want to do with the verbs. And as long as you use them correctly, in this situation, we use otherwise to show what? Cause and effect, contrast, or condition. Conditions. 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 Okay? Everybody cool? Cool. All right. Um, nice. Let's look at another one. What can we use a 